Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what is the difference between a VPN and a proxy. Which one should you be using? This is a question I see with a lot of new users. Um, they find out, you know, they need a VPN, but they don't really know what a proxy is, but somehow they kind of stumble across it. So in this video, I'm going to be recommending my uh, top rated proxy provider, as well as, you know, the differences between that and a VPN and the individual use cases for both options. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and just dive right into it. So my preferred proxy provider is TorGuard VPN. It's by far and large the best proxy provider when it comes to VPN stuff. The reason is, is because the basic plan includes a SOX5 proxy access for only around $5 a month, as you can see here with my promo code TomSpark2023, and you can get it up to $70 for three years. So it includes SOX5 proxy access. Additionally, I just made a video about um, their other proxies. They have stuff like V2Ray and some of these other proxies, which are very good for unblocking restrictions in censored countries. That's primarily what this stuff is for. Uh, and I'll be putting that in the description down below for this. If you're interested in this kind of proxy, these, these proxies are more for unblocking, uh, like I said, firewalls in censored countries like Iran and China. Uh, but for a lot of people, the basic proxy or the SOX5 proxy is going to be kind of what you're looking at. Um, so what really is the difference between a VPN and a proxy? Well, one of the core differences is that a VPN is more like an application. A VPN uh, encrypts all your outgoing traffic on your computer. It pretty much routes everything going on your computer in terms of the internet through the tunnel. Uh, there's a variety of different protocols you can play around with, although most people commonly use WireGuard nowadays. Um, so that is kind of the VPN. It, it encrypts everything. Um, you can even put it on your router for VPN router Wi-Fi. Um, so that is interesting too. Um, but the VPN, it's just kind of like, um, I kind of think it like wearing a hiking boot. Um, so you're wearing a hiking boot. It's going to be the sturdiest. Um, you know, if you want to go to war, if you want something that is the best protection, that's what a VPN is. Now, there are some cons with that though. Just like there are cons with a hiking boot or something like that, it's going to be a little bit heavier. Um, it's going to be a little bit more clunky. And by that, I mean... Uh, VPNs do affect your speeds a little bit, maybe 10 to 20% if it's a good VPN like TorGuard. If it's a worse VPN, um, it could be as much as 30 to 50% speed loss. So that can really be a bummer. Additionally, it can be hard to kind of get VPN working with certain things depending on how you want to. Sometimes you don't want to have to worry about turning VPN, turning it off. Um, so there are other use cases for different tools. And that's where a SOX5 proxy comes into um, existence. Now, TorGuard has a little guide here that I've used myself. Um, so basically what a proxy is, is it's pretty much just kind of like a way to authenticate um, a connection with an external IP. Um, so basically what you will do in an application, you could just put proxy.torguard.org, port 1080 or 1085, enter in your TorGuard credentials, choose SOX5 proxy, um, check these things as well, um, just for security. Um, and then you just click apply and okay. And every time you torrent in this application, your IP address is going to be anonymized and encrypted. So you'll have a new IP address. Um, so in this case, if you're downloading some Linux ISOs, your IP address will be completely hidden. So for all intents and purposes, it's good enough. And that's why I like to think of a SOX5 proxy kind of like a running shoe um, when compared to a VPN, which is more like a boot. Uh, with SOX5 proxies, you shouldn't really experience any speed loss at all um, because it's just encrypting your IP. It's not really encrypting your traffic per se. Um, your ISP can still see that you're torrenting, but they can't really see, um, they won't really be notified of you torrenting anything um, because no one's going to be telling them you're downloading anything because they don't really know who it is because the IP address is encrypted and hidden. Um, so that is what a proxy can do. Um, the benefit of here is that you don't have to worry about turning your VPN on. There's less speed degradation. Um, you could just set it and forget it. Anytime you download anything, your IP address will be hidden. So that's why I've been a huge proponent of proxies over the years. And a lot of VPNs actually don't provide SOX5 proxy, which is a kind of a dumb thing. Um, but not only that, guys, um, proxies also have some other applications. Um, you can see here I have TorGuard's extension downloaded um, onto Brave. And basically what I'll do is log in the same way. 
connect. It's almost like a VPN inside the browser, but it's just using a Soxify proxy to encrypt my traffic on the browser and hide my IP address. So this gives me a pretty good layer of anonymity. Um, a lot of VPNs, even like stuff like Molvad and some of those other ones, they don't really have like extensions you could fully install and find on app stores. Molvad has like after many years, they put like a beta for one and they kind of made their own browser. But TorGuard has had this extension for a long time and it works perfectly with the Soxify proxy. You're gonna have the anonymous IP while browsing, so it'll give you some layer of anonymity and it's not gonna affect your speeds too much. So it's another really cool use case for a proxy. Now, one of my favorite reasons for using proxies is actually the ability to put it in applications like this um, for many use cases. So if you're familiar with my channel, I made a video about the automated media server. The cool thing about this is that I don't have to worry about turning my VPN on because anytime something is pulled and put into Qubit torrent to download, it's gonna be using this proxy just like this. So it's very useful for that. Not only that, but if you have an automated media server in something like Docker or in the cloud or anything like that, you could still use the same proxy method without having to worry about advanced VPN configurations, which can get pretty confusing. All right, guys, so I hope that helped you out with this video, understanding the difference between uh, VPN and proxy. Like I said, I recommend TorGuard since it's the cheapest and the best in my opinion. Also guys, if you see these blinking things over here, you might wanna check out Incogni. I'll have a link down below as well as a discount. Um, that will be really good for removing your information from data brokers. Also check out vpnterialist.com. Check out the Discord if you wanna chat with my community and I'll see you again very soon.